It's locked up. Oh, jeez. All right, it's another day in the shop. Today is finishing Golden Nugget. We've test drove it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it runs out good. Uh, power steering pump has to get replaced. Yeah, you gotta put the horn on. Oh yeah, horn button, cover shifter around. knob, and then more test driving. Yeah. And we'll get after it. Okay. If I am correct, this here is the pump we're after. Righty-o. Yeah. You make that leak and I'm gonna work on a shifter knob, I think. Problem is, like there always is a problem, no. it's not right. I mean, it's right other than it's not right. So it looks right, but it doesn't have the it's right perfect. insert. Yes, that's what I'm... Now that's hard to believe. Isn't it? <clears throat> no, it's not big enough. I'm gonna end up making that smaller. That's the, that's a good looking knob for what we need. Yeah. I'll make it work, don't you fret. I got nothing but all day to get one shifter done. Oh, and then this. Did we asked you guys the other day about one of these bad boys. So, you guys hooked us up. It's black, even like we needed. And this is from Sarah. It came off of her one that she drives. It's a, hers is a soft top. She says that it has a four-wheeler motor swapped into it. She didn't need this and she sent it for our Golden Nugget project. Thank you very much. We also have got another one right there. But this one's white. Steve Michelson sent us this white one. We will uh, figure out which one of these is going to work best and we'll put it on. So thank you. Dan, that's a mighty fine looking shirt you got there. You liking that? I love it. See, so look at this thing here. And you can get that on their website. Brandy new. Two Brand pockets. New Two pockets. Style. He's back. I think. He's got his tools in there now. tools in there. Check that out. That's way nice. All you mechanics out there that are Fab Rats fans. People that don't like the t-shirts and like the button up. You're hooked up now. If not. Hey, I tightened that pretty tight. You think? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure it was tight. You got it. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right, now we can let her leak on the ground because that's where it's going to go everywhere. I think it had uh, nasty in it. I think it had an ATF in it too, so it's got a different color to it. Because you can run ATF or power steering. Tell us which ones you like in the comments. <laughs> oh, what do you think of that? She looks good. Looks like a million bucks. Yep, mint. Now on to the shifter. Seems like we've taken this off before. Maybe once or twice. It's the last mounting bolts. Then we can undo the belt and it's out simple on these. It's almost seated all the way. It will be seated. I'll crank it on there. Then I'll make Paul undo it. <laughs> now for the fun part. This is how we pull the belt off. There's not a lot of adjustment so you just crank it over. It comes off. Look what I found. Did you find parts? Hey! Just what we needed. Yeah, why don't you find out the other day? I don't know. I didn't look for it real hard, but I did today. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like perfect too. Still striking out on a shifter knob that's exactly what I'm after. No this luck. One, this one's what I want, it's just not. I don't know what to do, we'll figure it out. Last one. Hey, what we got? We got some parts? Yes, sir. Chad's the man back again. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we have appreciate it. We're finding parts again. It is kind of what happens on everything. I've got faith in your ordering ability. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Just got to pull the pulley off now, and it's ours. Yay. All right, I pulled this pulley off. Now I'm going to put it back on. The other one, on the new one. 
I think this other one was actually leaking out of the back of this seal here. It's all wet in there. Last portion. And now I can't get it undone. I didn't know it was that strong. <laughs> have Paul take that one off? Might have to. He's claiming he's the stronger one. I'm sure one day we're going to have to find out. Uh-oh. All right. We'll go throw it back in the hole. Sounds like he's back. I uh, know. I think he, he found parts. Hopefully he found a shifter, huh? I'm hoping so. I don't know. What new things do you think he come back with? I don't know. I'll bet he brought something. He had to have something. He does every time. No luck. Nah. Uh, nope. I'm pulling that shifter out. What should have been easy is not going to be easy. So, just the theme of this project. Yep. Not quite small enough yet. We're getting. Just got to thread this for the. The knob. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Fixed it. Beautiful. I'm getting it. I'm getting the pump back in here. It's just the slow process now of putting it back in. Factory shifter knob right there. Handled. I'll put it all back in now. I think we're done with the inside. We're going back together. Oh, this feels good. Finishing touches going in. Let's see, that's four high. That's two high right there. So I'll put the cap in the middle and we got it. There it is. It's in. Now all there is left is to go wheeling in it and see if it works, right? That's right. You're back in here. Yeah, getting all back in. Just bolting the reservoir back on and we'll do the lines up, fill it up. I mean, she'll smoke donuts. Probably not with me driving it, but once Ed's behind the wheel, hang on. Kick down, we got that to build list still. Oh, the kick down. Let me find that cable. Yeah. Go over the list, check it twice. Just like Santa Claus. I'm the one that delivers coal out of my tailpipe. Rolling, <laughs> Rolling coal. <laughs> Did it seal or no? I think so. Then we can fire it up and see if the power steering works. You ready? See what happens. Let me put Shut off. And we'll top off the fluid. We're putting Swepco in it. You know it. That's the good stuff. I know. Okay. Fire in the hole. And that's fire steering. Yeah. Kick down cable. Test drives. All right, we got the new TV cable, kick down cable, all put in. Now we just gotta spray all the tranny fluid off that's everywhere, and then hook it up and go test it, see if it works. It'll work. It's well, connected now. What's your bet? 100%. Down. Maybe for the last possible time. I'm hoping so. This is monumentous right here. This could be our last trip down on the hoist. I'm not gonna go ahead and just say that, but it's possible. This is it. Let's see. Just gotta put our cable on now. What? Hey, I got, I got one of my own cable. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> that was loud too. Looks like we could use a cord. Cord? Annoying. What's that? Something in the brakes? I don't know. Do we want to adjust it a little? Give it a small tweak? Yeah, let's give it a little. So, uh, we 
didn't get the kick down how we wanted it, so we're adjusting it a little. That should do it. All right. We'll try that. Should have taken the wheels off. Are you kidding me? Rear end locked up. Um, we might need a ride. All right, so uh, apparently the rear end locked up. <laughs> right there. Skid marks. Rear end's locked up tight. I don't know what's going on. It had oil in it. I don't know what happened, but it's not good. So we're waiting for a ride. Well, never thought we'd tow this home already. What's wrong with the rear end? I don't know. We got a ride recovered here. Now I'm on the tow truck, heading home. We'll see what it is. I think we got a pinion bearing blew up. Glad it was on us instead of Ed, but we'll get it taken care of. We have the technology. <laughs> uh... And here we go. Yeehaw, more work. Remember that time I said it was the last time? I was joking. So I can tell Matt we had to make a call, but Paul showed up, and it was Paul calling. <laughs> this isn't exactly the way we wanted to come into the yard with this thing. This is the not the kind of test drive we want. Well, we made it. Now we'll tear it apart and see what we got. Okay, you should be able to pick that up. I'll just winch it off to you. Well, we'll see you later. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. All right. 4,972 times of going up in the air. I'm golden. You're golden. It spins. It's not the middle. Michelle's gonna hate me. I just bought some taps and dies. Sorry, Michelle. Well, that was the decision. This made the decision. And look, he feels better already. I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me get on my phone. I got some stuff in the basket. <laughs> okay. So the rear end itself is fine. Something's wrong in the pinion. You can feel sand in the drain plug on it. Oh no. Oh dude. Full. Oh, you can feel sandblast media in it big time. Dang it. So We're what we got going is the rear end itself is not locked up, but it locked the pinion bearings up right here. So, which leads me to believe that the front end's gonna have to come back apart as well and get cleaned out because you just don't know. So, lots more work.
got it. Mm -hmm. I may have to get a real hammer. Yeah. And that thing's massive. Huge. It's not loose. You can see that it's power or that's a uh, media ring and um, pinion doesn't look bad does it huh we'll figure it out all right this is uh that's bad right there yep toast holy cow we got some uh sand in the uh Differential. Yep, sand caused some serious grief in here. None that can't be fixed, but yeah. you that gotta sucks. make sure you clean it really yep. good. So yeah. we'll uh, we'll clean this all apart, put some new races in it, new bearings, and back together should be back fixed. Together. Yep, all of uh, this stuff, that's sandblast media. Had a pocket hiding somewhere, and it is everywhere in there. I'll bet it was right there. Yeah, up in that breather. breather. All right, so we're pulling the front end apart just to check it for sure. We pulled the drain plug out. Sure enough, there is media in that. We haven't driven it in four wheel drive yet, so nothing's gonna be hurt inside of here. We'll pull it all apart, clean it out. This stuff is super hard to get out. We've determined that it got stuck in these, these caps right here, these are the breathers. If you can hear it, you can hear it crunching in there. So we're gonna pull it apart, we'll blow those things clear out, we'll tear them apart if we have to, whatever we gotta do to clean them. Super easy mistake to make, it just cost us some rear bearings, but probably better. Matt's bringing up the metal housing and we're gonna take that aluminum one and take it off, put the, the cast iron samurai housing on the back, a little tougher, should be running tomorrow. We'll have this gutted tonight and maybe back together. We'll see how ambitious we get. This is what happens when you have to bend. You make tracks. Let's see who's got this. There's how it's done. What are you doing? Sand it. Made it! I made it! Oh, you did. Woo! I got it! <laughs> this is a pretty easy mistake to have happen. So Robbie was nervous about it. He said they cleaned on these things forever and thought they had it all out. He had them all taped up and his powder coaters that he took it to, the sandblasters, ended up tearing his tape and stuff and sandblasting in it and doing stuff they weren't supposed to. So. I talked to him, he said he no longer uses those powder coaters, which I can't blame him. So, easy mistake, at least we got it handled before Ed got it. So. All right, it's a new day on the Nugget. We are uh, cleaning and hopefully going back together. Skeeter, I called Matt last night, Skeeter's bringing up some differential parts. We'll kind of show you. We're in a better mood today, by the way. It's a new day, we'll get it worked out. These are the front bearings, toasted. So we're gonna deal with it. So I did a little researching last night. This is the front diff out of a tracker. It doesn't have an oil provision here and here to feed that front bearing. So this may not have been all sandblasting fault. So this is not designed to set on the angle we have. It's not getting the oil it needs up front. So we're gonna throw the old housing in that Skeeter's supposed to be bringing up to us. I've been expecting him anytime. Anytime. Matt called me this morning, said he was leaving, so he should be showing up and we'll get those parts put together. She clean? Get in there. Oh, oh yeah. what do we got? You're the guy we've been waiting for. Samurai parts. The man, the myth, the legend. They're like little go-kart differentials. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I was telling you guys about the oil path. See that hole in that? And that one up there? 
that shoots oil directly to the front bearing. So I should have realized that when I put this in. See, there is no oil path to the front. I'm sure that uh, the sandblast media didn't help it, but not getting oil didn't help it either. So we'll take this one, clean it up. It's got those oil paths to the front. And so the ring gear is in here flipping oil. It's spitting oil straight down that, right to that front bearing. So this will solve our problems. We'll get her put together. See, how you make them last longer is you gotta get a lot of mud and water in there and then they'll last for 20 years. That's <laughs> just assemble it with sand, right? <laughs> we only got about 12 miles out of these ones, so. Skeeter. How much do we got to pay you to sabotage the tow truck so we can win the Olympics? <laughs> That's the question I'm asking. Matt doesn't have to know about it. That thing's my baby, dude. The only thing is... I don't is... want you to ruin it. I just want it to break down. That's all. <laughs> I'm going to insta install like a remote control oh, yeah. uh, little valve inside the axles. It'll shut the air locker off. That's right. It'll just click. <laughs> He gets in a in a bad situation and it looks like he's gonna beat me at something. I'll just wave my hand. You flip the switch. <laughs> the lockers <laughs> yeah. open different. What's wrong with this thing? They click on. Oh, it works good. See. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. guys. Man, freaking good to see you, boys. Yep. Thank you for the parts. We'll get this all assembled and hopefully be test driving later today again. I think next time we're calling you guys, we're bringing the trailer up to load it, haul it home. Nice. The cool thing is, is Ed will know how much work's gone into it. He'll appreciate that fact of it. Oh, yeah. He's gonna love it, man. He'll drive it all over the place. Yeah. We just gotta wait for the parts guy to show up and then we can stuff this thing together. Yeah. Friend. Adios, Good drive luck, safe. Man. Not supposed to look like that coming out. That's all sand, my friend. Supposed to be clear and clean when it rolls out of there. For having 12 miles on it, it should be crystal clear. We'll get her clean. We're getting it. Cleaning up so we can clean up. Those haven't been used for a minute. We're gonna put some diesel in these things and go to squirting it out of here. If you don't have one of these, I would get one. So you can take, oh, if you were tough, you can take this off put whatever you want in here, and then you just put air to it. You can spray it out. Here's a wrench. I need more hands. For some reason, they're all full. Give me a hand. <laughs> How bad is it? It's full of crap. Oh yeah. We can reuse them, but we're gonna have them There's a little blast media in the back. We'll clean them up. All right, that black one's ready. I'm going for it then. Going to the front. Give her a spray. That's, I don't want to stand there. I might get it crunchy real quick. Oh, that's yeah. crunchy. I get it At least we'll all smell like diesel by the end of the day. We'll call us diesel brothers. Now we're at my eyeball. <laughs> Just diesel. It only burns a little. Clean up, spray, reapply, clean up, spray, reapply, yep. start over. That's, that's the story of our life for a bit. We just washed that out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still stuff in it. That's how hard this stuff is to get out. To get out. I'll show you. This is clean rag. That's all sandblast material. This stuff is ridiculous to get out of parts. This stuff is hard. Even after I just did that, so that, I wiped it around there. We'll take another clean corner. There's more of it. That's crazy. It's its, it's, its job. That's what it's made to do is to get in and clean all those surfaces. He's fixed. We're breathing. I think you should have probably been a chimney sweep. You might have made some money on it. Yeah, I think you could do her. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chiru. The only problem is I'm not a very good singer, so I don't know if I'd have made Ben starts to sing and he like what he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this thing cleaned up. Ben is 
Ben's been scrubbing on it. She's clean and ready. Yeah. We're gonna silicone it and start reassembling. We're waiting for bearings for the rear, but the front can go back together. So here we go on it. Look at that squish. Gotta make it stick out the sides. Yeah, gotta get the squish. Then you know you don't have the leak. That's right. Just a little snug all the way around and we're done. Now we just gotta throw the axles in it and donezoed. It's not that bad. It's gotta work first. Sure. See? Hey there, RC background noise. I'm trying to make this course. Why don't you uh, do something constructive? Struggling would be grab a broom. Sweet. Earn your keep around here. Because your change jiggle jiggles, it don't fold. <laughs> it's not even jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Pleasure shopping in the shop. Come again. <laughs> yep, we got our merch and everything. All right. As long as you're wearing merch, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's right. Seems like uh, this is awfully low. No, I think it's just right. Ben's actually on a tiptoe on that one <laughs> side. <laughs> My pants, this is as far as the stretch has got in the old Levi's. I'm telling you. They only got to stack perfection so high. I see. <laughs> I wondered why I was so short. Either see? that or the guy came through. We'll hurry and uh, clean this all up and put some new bearings on the pinion. And this thing will be going back together, back in the nugget for a final test drive again. Hopefully the last final test drive, right? Final. Final, final. Yeah, that's perfect. That's kind of what I thought. Done. Done. Done, done. Done. She's going in. Done, assemble it. One, bum, 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 boom. That, my friend, is glued. It's a good day when the, when the Patagonias are going back. Can you imagine how good this thing would look with BFGs on it? She's good to go. Is that son of a being brother-in-law of mine trying to steal Mountain Dews again? I don't know what you're talking about. Just act like I'm not even here. Family. <laughs> what do you do with them? My goal is to get you sponsored by Mountain Dew, buddy. <laughs> if I can steal 20 a week, I figure I'm, that will do that. I'm just trying to figure out how you stealing drinks helps me out. I don't, I don't get it. It will definitely help you out. <laughs> She's going in. She's in. It's like deja vu. I know, it seems like I've done this a couple of times. Here's your little tech tip. Always put grease in your new sills. So before that oil gets to it, it's got a little something something in there to make life happy and then make sure you don't set your axle on the sill pushing it in because it will cut it and ruin it and then it won't work now the front front this could be the last time randall this one we're going down again. Good half a chance. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for another test drive. We'll uh, go take it for a rip again, see if we got all the gears, see if make sure you don't howl, anything's good, but I think we're Should ready to roll. To so we'll shut the hood and go for it. Another, hi. There we go. Let's take this thing for a rip, Shell. Okay. It's test drive time. Ben said he already had a ride, so now it's my turn. Yep. I've never. What? I've never. Oh, get had in. Had this move with me in it. Okay. Get in. Let's do it. It needs something like. It needs a floor mat. We have a good time now. Bye. Oh. Oh, she's a Suzuki. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta have your head hitting the roof. My head's good. We're on the open road. Well, you fit just perfectly fine. You fit good. Thanks. I like it. Think Ed's gonna love this thing? I think Ed's gonna love it. I think he is too. FaceTime Matt. What's up? Well, hey, guess what we're doing? Oh, yeah. We're running 55. Hi, Lizzie. We can't we hear him. <laughs> we we'll pull over and talk to you. Over so we can hear you. I just said look at 
It actually drives pretty good. Yeah, you can do 70 and let go of the wheel and it drives. So, there's one flaw though. My leg's in the way. I can't roll the window up when I'm in here. I have to open the door to roll the window up. And then I can shut it. <laughs> when do you want to come and get it? Sounds good to me. Okay, sounds good. Okay, see you tomorrow. Alright, I'll pull over up here by the dump. You can drive it home. This is gonna get scary. Michelle is driving. What do you mean scary? You fit way better than me. I know. Alright, let's do this. There's no uh mirrors. There's no mirrors. Look at that teeny tiny little Ah, the rear view mirror is so cute. Everything's cute on this. You guys, it's just a cute little thing. It's pretty cool. Woohoo! That's a bonus right there. That thing looks so cool coming down the road. <laughs> How is it? I like it. Drives pretty decent, that doesn't drives it? drives awesome. The next day. So Matt and his crew got here. I'm about to lay hold of the golden nugget after you guys did all the work. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. <laughs> See, I've heard it run, but I have never seen it run or driven it or ridden in it. Ed's gonna love this thing. I think it's time we take it for a rip. Yep. Let's I'll get it. the door. All right, that's for sure. Oh, wow. You gotta put your leg in first. Yeah. <laughs> There's a combo to get in. Yep. <laughs> it's definitely a Suzuki still. That's <laughs> nice. Oh, he's ripping it. Look at that. What do you think, Matt? Do you approve? I do approve. Do you think Ed will approve? Of course he will. But it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. There's happy just it too. there's just no room in it. What do you think, Skeeter? This thing's cute. <laughs> there's the box that it's, it's taking it away. All right, it's time. We're going to load this thing in Matt's trailer, but before any project can leave the shop, it's got to do a proper burnout, so... Here it goes. It's tradition. You can't break tradition.
Bo? There it goes. There it goes. Except for for me, here it comes. That's true. Here it comes. Yep. <laughs> Pass on the torch. We're gonna take that torch. <laughs> there she goes. Now gets out of here. How we feel about that? I'm kind of sad about it. Yeah. I got mixed emotions. I'm sad and happy all at the same time. I'm super excited for Ed oh, yeah. to see this. Yeah, Ed's gonna love that thing. Well, I cannot wait to see his reaction. All right, so as you guys just watched, we gave the golden nugget back to Matt. He's got a few little finishing touches to do to it, but it's gone from our shop. It's been a wild ride, hasn't it? It's been it? good. It's been a good it's ride. It's been a fun thing trying to build something so tiny and get it all compacted into one little space, but it's been fun. And we can't wait for Ed to get it. Yeah, he's gonna love it. If you guys like the Golden Nugget build series, you're gonna love what's coming next on our channel. We got some pretty cool stuff in store. So if you guys haven't already, you better subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the action and shenanigans. We got some good ones coming up. All right, thanks for watching.